Hi, this is Abul Hussein coming to you direct from London, the United Kingdom, and welcome to another episode of the SMMA Mastermind podcast, where we talk about how you can start or scale your digital marketing agency. Now, if you are watching this video outside of our Facebook group, make sure to find the link above or below this video, or go to smmamastermind.com, especially if you are in the agency community. Now, with that, by the way, I have a very special guest joining me all the way from North Carolina. His name is Con Affinity. He is a digital marketer. He is a musician and he is a podcast host. Let's, uh, I believe his podcast is called Let's Remake a Movie. Connor, to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Abel. Lovely to be here. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, for the people who don't know who you are, how about a little bit of an introduction? Sure. So um, I work in a sales job with my, my company, Avid Exchange. Uh, that's my nine to five. I really like doing that. I started that a little while ago, but I also have to take on a lot of creative projects. And the main one is that podcast, Let's Remake a Movie. I decided to do it as a kind of fun quarantine project with some friends of mine back home. That was early in 2020. We were all stuck at home. I was kind of going stir crazy. I was just looking for something fun to do. So my friends and I decided to whip up this podcast because we always came up with kind of crazy movie Idea, mashup ideas together. So now we started making this podcast and it's been one of the most fun projects of my life. So, um, and it combines the, you know, kind of digital media, digital marketing, kind of having a piece of media and reaching it and having it reach um, the audiences who are going to be most enthusiastic about it. Also mixed with uh, just the fun movie banter. Uh, my friend mm -hmm. designs a movie poster for each episode. I write a song that plays at the end of each episode. So it's a great use of my talents. No, that's absolutely amazing. And even this podcast is something that I came up with uh, during the lockdown in the UK back around <laughs> June-ish. So it's great that people are finding ways to kind of, you know, do things that are different from the regular nine to five. Yeah. Uh, this is something for myself that I've wanted to do for a while, but I've just put it off until <laughs> the world looked like it was going to come to an end. Um, so your podcast, where did the inspiration come from? Was this something that you created uh, on the spur of, you know, spur of the moment or were you planning it for a while? And, you know, how did it all come about? Because the initial, so uh, Abul, the initial idea was to kind of, it was more, it was a more specific idea. It was to remake a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and each movie we would recast Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> in the lead role. That was a funny idea, but it kind of, I had thought of that like a year or so ago. Um, or maybe you know, like probably a year and a half ago now that I think about it. It's one of those things I thought would be funny, but it, it kind of went into the back burner, didn't think about it that much. But then I, as like, as I, as 2020 rolled around and I thought it was going to be a fresh start full of new possibility and changes, how naive I was. Um, but basically I was kind of like, I, my friend and I, we had thought like, oh, let's make a podcast and let's have this be the concept. Eventually the Arnold Schwarzenegger thing kind of became too limiting. So we just had it be like, oh, let's remake a movie. Let's just kind of combine two movie ideas for it together for each episode and see what happens. And eventually it was just we're th like instantly we were able to come, come up with so many ideas for episodes. We have one where it's Inception, but it stars Seth Rogen and he engages in a certain recreational activity as he invades people's dreams. We have one where it's Home Alone, but it stars Baby Yoda, the internet's favorite creature. We have one recent episode where it's, um, Chris, uh, the Shining, but it stars the family from Christmas Vacation, and it's it's just one of those things where we, we we're creative, we're all creative people, we're all movie minded people, we all love movies, so it just was a very natural outlet for us. And and one of the things that was, was has been really fun about this project was it's I can um, it allows me to use more of myself and my natural creativity and what I like to do as I do it. So it's really really fun. It was just one of those things, kind of a spur of the moment type thing, but gradually it's kind of become a more developed. Thing and tailored to my talents. No, it's absolutely amazing. And some of the concepts that you guys have come up with is totally, totally fascinating. Now, a lot of people, when they are kind of doing a, a launching a, a podcast, they have like a commercial intent behind it. They want to grow their business. They want to kind of grow their audience as well, I suppose. Did you do any kind of audience research beforehand? Or was this going to be something that actually we want to create great content and let's see where it goes from there kind of things? I think we were we were focused on creating great content and then finding the right, like kind of getting some stuff out there and finding what audiences responded to the most and looking at ways to kind of distribute it to audiences in a way that they're gonna, that's gonna reach them. And one of the great promotional tools that we have is our fake movie posters. My co-host Josh Opitz 
he makes a fake movie poster each for each episode for each mashup that um and you if you listen to it on spotify you can see the fake movie posters they're also on our facebook and instagram page for let's remake a movie um and they're and we wanted to just get some stuff out there have a record uh, have a, a established content an established body of work and then once that was set we would build off of it promote it and then use the exist and then kind of do some um have a record that we could promote for ourselves but also have like take make an effort to build the audience for it so here's what we have we believe in this we think it's really good and now we're going to try and build up the audience and see where we can go from there so it was yeah. kind of an outlet but one that we have very ambitious that we have a lot of high ambitions for getting to a wider group of people because just an anecdotally whenever i describe the kind of the podcast idea and each into each of the individual episodes to people i think it's really great and i think that that's reflective Collective in some of our digital ads, we have some really great response to some of the digital ads. Like for the Shining Christmas Vacation one, we spent about seventy-five dollars and got over a thousand clicks. That's like seven cents a click, which is way better than a lot of industry averages. And I think that's reflective of people like the concept. People look at Josh's uh, movie poster and are just laughing their laughing their tail off. And then they're going to want to click on the link to the the, the episode, and they want to want to click uh, click through. So it's just a matter of using that asset that we have, that fake movie poster, and then find and then that was naturally very funny, and then get using that to promote it and reach the a really targeted audience that's going to respond to it the best. No, absolutely, and you know th this is something that I would expect like a creative video agency to to be doing to kind of you know, getting their name out there. And I suppose that's a my, that might be a kind of an opportunity further down the line. Who knows? <laughs> You mentioned the Facebook advertising campaign and getting clicks for seven cents, you know, which is absolutely amazing, you know, and you did it in December, which is supposed <laughs> to be the most toughest kind of, yeah. period, the most expensive period for uh, advertising uh, online. But it just goes to show if you have something that is amazing, it doesn't really matter what time of the year it is, people are going to respond. Now, I know you've been driving some clicks and what's not. Uh, do you get like some stats in terms of like how many people actually listen and how many hours have been listened to and that kind of, you know. We've, we've got over, um, we've got over eight, we've got well over 800 episode listens so far. I think what we're trying to do, what we're, we're trying to tinker with some of the marketing so far to find the, the advertising that's going to lead to the biggest increase in episode listens. So I think we're getting a lot of people to click through on those, those those ads, I think they're listening to part of the episode, might not be listening to all the way through. So what I think what we're trying to do is, you know, I think we we're already getting somewhere with the using the poster as a way to get people to click through. I think we're just trying to take we're just we're just trying to kind of refine it even more. So okay, we're getting great response, we're getting great great click through. Maybe face maybe Facebook might not be the best way to have people click on an ad and then listen to a podcast because it's kind of different mm -hmm. media. So maybe is there a way we could do like where people are already in an avenue where they listen to their podcasts right now? You show the movie poster there and then then that then you click on it where they're already ready to listen. I think my guess is for a lot like people are clicking through in really high numbers and they're really intrigued by it, but they're just like, oh, you know, this this looks like it'll be really fun, but I'm just kind of scrolling through. So I think yeah. we're kind of it's kind of a trial and error at this point. We're encouraged by some of this. I think we've already we're already for a podcast that not that was just something we made out of our homes, respectively. We're at over eight hundred, close to nine hundred listens in total. I think I'm very happy about that. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of ambitions for like, all right, let's try and see what works and how we can refine it. So where where you having that great that great click through response, but how can we see it into have that lead to an equally great increase in viewers uh subscribers etc because then i think we're close and once we get it i think we're going to see them gonna go up like a rocket ship yeah no ab absolutely it's with a lot of businesses that you see kind of you know they are trying to figure things out and then the growth mm -hmm. is like that and then as you mentioned it goes up like a rocket ship and i suppose one thing that you could test out at some point is like direct people to a landing page where they leave their email address before they get go over to spotify so at least then you can build them when future episodes are kind of posted and you can remind them to go on to Spotify and listen to them in, in their kind of, you know, leisure time, I suppose, because often people do click on ads, but it's it's a good ad, so they click on it, but they're on the train and on the, they're commuting or, right. and it's, it's not the right time. So I'm, I'm sure the engagement data that you're picking up from uh, your social advertising 
is going to pay dividends later on. Now, in terms of organic promotion, are you doing anything organically to get the word out there? Uh, we're, I'm telling everybody I know. I'm trying to. We actually. Um, so I'm trying to get the word out, get them to tell their friends. Where I think you know, it's like it's one of those kind of things people will listen to and then tell their friends about, so they can kind of talk about it. I've had a lot of people tell me that they like listening to it in the car, where they kind of want to. They're almost like trying to shout ideas how they would want to contribute to remaking the movie because it's almost like three, like almost like four friends at a bar talking about how they would make this movie. Just kind of, it's very free form improv. So I think audiences like to um, kind of join in. We're also we also just filmed and we're about to release a, a YouTube advertisement where it's going to be a video of just us talking. It's a script that I wrote and it's us talking about the podcast and it kind of we were able to kind of do it where it's kind of organically captures our banter, how we talk, the kind of humor that we have, this kind of joke. There's a joke that every time I make a Star Wars reference, my uh, co-host Laura Darling takes a drink. So we have that included in the script, <laughs> So, which happens quite frequently if you listen. Um, so yeah, and it's just that we're, we're going to use that. We're going to use, um, I recorded videos of myself singing some of the songs that I wrote that are featured in the end of, the ep that end of each episode. They're, they're funny. I think they're memorable and they're going to be ways for people to kind of see, oh, this is a song. I like the song. Oh, it's from this other podcast. And they kind of hear, and that might be another way for them to latch onto it. So we're starting to build, uh, we're going to use all the content, all the creative, all the assets that we have just in the podcast and some other things that I've created. And we're going to, I think 20, we're, um, we're going to start using those to try and build awareness. Cause I think we've got great content. It's just a matter of the right vehicles and the right avenues to get it out there. And we're, mm -hmm. I think we're in the process of doing that. And I'm very excited about that. Yeah, no, it sounds awesome. Now, definitely we'll have to check out some of your episodes. So how regularly are you producing a new episode? Um, for a while we were producing, we were putting out one a week. Um, we have 12 out right now. Um, we have a bunch more recorded. I think we're putting a break on it right now just to um, focus on promotion in terms of, because I think 12 I thought was a good number um, to have it, like as we build up the audience for there to be the number of episodes available for people as they discover it seems like it's a good number of people number for folks to listen to a new podcast because if there's like a hundred episodes of a podcast that they've never heard of it might be a little intimidating but if it's about that you know that about that number it's a good uh, avenue for people to enter and get into so I think we're going to break a little bit um, we've got a bunch recorded of some episodes that I'm really excited about that we're going to put out in the future, but I think, um, we're going to kind of focus more on promotion now, but, um, when we're in the cycle of it, we're putting out one a week every Monday. Right. Okay. And, uh, in terms of people who are actually kind of looking to start a podcast, what's the easiest way for them to get started? Because it sounds quite intimidating for those who I suppose are not in the know. Yeah. Um, I would say look for um, the biggest thing you got to look for is a concept, um, an idea, a look, a distinct thing that you're looking to bring to the table. That's not that, that um, you that you are passionate about yourself that you would want to listen to and that you think others would want to listen to. Like, it's like, what's the like, it's almost like the podcast. I want to start a podcast. It's almost like the new I want to be an entrepreneur. Or something like that you kind of have to have a reason for what reason for doing it a, a distinct message that you want to get out there a value that you want to provide whether that's you know inspirational stuff whether that's informational whether that's entertainment um so first have a message have um a distinct value that you want to provide and in terms and um get people around you who can help with the um the technical side of it if that's not your expertise um josh Obitz, who also does the um, movie posters uh, helps with a lot of the technical stuff um, in terms of us getting it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and on the various platforms, um, get a good editor. If you don't, if you can't edit it yourself, I found mine on Fiverr. Um, he does it as a reasonable rate and handles all of my stuff. Um, get some good equipment. A good mic goes a long way for a podcast. I mean, you know, it's if you, I I have a Rode NT mic. I like it a lot. It has good sound quality. It's not necessarily like the one that Joe Rogan used, but it gets good quality. It sounds really good on it. So get good equipment, um, have an interesting idea, and just kind of know all the, just kind of realize that it can be done. It's not, it may seem intimidating first, so like anything new is intimidating, but you just kind of go by it step by step, and if you, you know, handle one part of, part of the production, and the you'll be able to check that off the list, it'll make you feel good, build up positive momentum for yourself, and then you can kind of keep knocking out those things. Then 
as you do it, you'll look back and be like, wow, I made, the, I did all this stuff and I didn't, you know, that I didn't think I could necessarily do. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, you know, back in June, I didn't realize, or I, you know, if you had told me that I would have recorded 87 episodes of these, I would have, <laughs> you know, thought no way. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. People start doing and taking action. I suppose you never realize what you're kind of capable of. Yeah. In, in terms of your, your guests, do you have like the same, same guests all the time or are you going out and finding new guests? Typically it's the same four folks that we've gotten so far. There was one episode where Laura had to be out because she was on vacation. And that was the episode then that was, um, we got a um, friend of Josh's to replace her. He did a wonderful job. And that was the episode where we mash up It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Alien. That one features uh, the gang from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on the spaceship from Alien. And they're already kind of scumbags in general, just in normal circumstances, when you have them in the vacuum of space and they feel like their lives are under threat, that becomes even more prominent. So it's fun to kind of imagine how that would all play out. So typically that was the one situation where um, uh, Colin Ketchin filled in for Laura. He did a very nice job. We were happy with it. Um, but typically it's the four of us. It's me, um, Josh Opitz, uh, Laura Darling and Sean Baldwin. They're all great. It, it, it's very effortless whenever we make an episode together because it's just us talking and there's always ideas blowing and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and just when you were talking there, I literally just had another idea. So let me just throw it out there as a suggestion because obviously you have influences within the creative space that you could potentially invite as the fifth person and then you could tap into their audience too. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a really good idea. I think it'd be good, to, especially if somebody's got a big audience. Um, yeah. Yeah, they might, yeah, and they'll say, hey, check out Let's Remake a Movie. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely would be down for that, especially if that person has a similar audience to what we're trying to reach. I think that it would go, it would go a long way. Oh, yeah. You'd, um, you'd be, I mean, you'd be surprised what, how many different kind of niches there are. Or yeah. you just go on Instagram, you know, people are following cats and dogs in <laughs> 20,000, 30,000 people plus yeah. more you know so I mean the world is your is your oyster so I'm yeah. you know to just to wrap it up yes if someone wants to hear your podcast you know see what you guys are up to where should they be going um you can check us out the podcast is let's remake a movie we're available on, on apple podcasts spotify uh, google podcasts and many other platforms we have a, a youtube channel as well i would say spotify is the one i like the best because you get to see the fake movie posters but other podcast other platforms work as well we've got 12 episodes available the latest one which we released around christmas time was the mashup of the shining and christmas vacation which is one of my favorite ones we've done uh but yeah check us out let's remake a movie spotify apple podcasts many other podcast platforms awesome on that connor thank you so much for your time you're very welcome, Abul. Thanks so much for having me. This was an absolute delight. Really enjoyed talking with you.